it's Camille and today I'm doing a room tour which you guys have asked for a lot <laughs> but I didn't do it before because my room wasn't perfect but I redid it a little bit and I'm really happy with how it looks so I decided that I'm going to share my room with you guys so I live in Brooklyn and I feel like I got a really nice place based on everything that I looked at around because I have really high ceilings and like a bunch of light that comes in and I'm close to a train but anyways <laughs> let me show you my room <laughs> and quick thanks to Pottery Barn Teen who gave me some of the items that I used to redo my room they have a bunch of cool stuff on their website and I'll leave links to all the products that I show you in the description box so these are my children and some of them need to go to a pediatrician but we're not gonna talk about that because it's almost fall so Plants die when it gets cold, you know? I'm so sorry guys, but we had a really good run this summer and I really love having the plant shelf, but I gotta figure out how to keep these babies warm, uh, but I'm working on it. But yeah, so I have some spider plants which survive really well in my apartment. Like you can see this one is already propagating and I've made a bunch of spider plants out of other spider plants. And then my pothos also do really well. So if you live in an apartment like this, those are the plants to get. Here. Also your plant shirt. Oh yeah. This was inspired by real life events. <laughs> So I have fairy lights wrapped around this piping. My apartment is kind of industrial, so they're just like exposed pipes, and I thought it would be a really cool idea to just like wrap it all the way up and around the room. And it looks really good at night, and it's like kind of a calm warm to fall asleep to. All right, so over here I have this little shelf that Kyler put in so I could have my phone and my water and whatever next to my bed. Uh, but right now I just have a humidifier because my nose gets dry sometimes, <laughs> and I don't like it. So over here I have this 3M hook to put my eye mask so I can sleep and it's just like so handy. But of course the main attraction of this room is the bed, which I completely redid because A, it needed to be cuter, and B, it's comfier. So cuter and comfier, you can't even beat that. So I'm gonna show you starting from the bottom. I got a new mattress protector. Oh, this is like real bottom. <laughs> so this is like really fluffy in like chunks, so it kind of feels like you're sleeping on a cloud. And then I based the actual sheets on what my room looks like with all, pretty much just plants. So it's like white and plants. So the green was perfect and they happen to have a blanket of the same color. So. I matched that and then I wanted to have white on top because I wanted it to bring more light into my room, um, especially if it can like reflect from the windows just to brighten up my area that I live in. And I really like the texture on this because I wanted something simple but not like boring, you know? So I kind of took inspo from the duvet cover and then I found these pillows that kind of have a similar texture on them. And then the ones that came with this are here and I break it up like white, green, white. So then it's like a little like dynamic, you know? <laughs> so over here I have one of my windows and I have a bunch of plants on it for obvious reasons. And I grew these two from seeds, these are avocado trees. So I actually ate the avocado that they came from. All right, so this is a ring holder that I also got from Pottery Barn Teen. And I thought it was just beautiful for decor and also because the golden pothos, they like to kind of wind around stuff and like climb the walls. So I thought it would be like a really cute place to let it like live through. So over here I have a peace lily which I got as a gift and also purifies air. So if you live in New York City or some other polluted place, <laughs> this can help clean your air when you're sleeping. I also have some candles over here and another vine. Then this is just a pretty basic shelf, plants, and then I have more plants down here. These are my floor plants. These ones are too heavy for the shelf, but they deserve love anyways. And then this is my biggest foliage that I own. I also got this as a gift and we've been together ever since my last apartment. And then this is my fiddle leaf fig, which I'm actually propagating over there. You saw this leaf that has like the roots. I'm making another fiddle leaf fig. 
and then I have my snake plant. So I got this shag carpet because I wanted something soft to step on in the winter when I get out of bed instead of stepping on like cold wood floors. And I feel like this guy is really soft and does the job. By the way, Pottery Barn Team focuses on sustainability, which is another reason that I like the company because that's obviously one of the most important things that we're facing right now. So by having sustainable products, I feel like they really care about like the environment and their customers, you know? So I really appreciate that they go out of their way to be sustainable. So these are my shoes, and as everyone in New York knows, if you don't have space, you build up. So that's why I stacked two uh, shelves on top of each other to hold all my shoes. And then we go over here to the closet, and Kyler actually ripped the doors off of this because it was like those ugly sliding doors. So we just got rid of all that mess. So I have all my clothes organized, like tank tops, bodysuits, short sleeves, pants, skirts, sweatshirts. So like based on what it is, and then in each category it's based on color. So everything has its place and I never lose anything. And then I also have this little dresser. So I have it organized with little dividers and I actually refolded everything after Marie Kondo told me to. So everything is like super easy to find. And I like having a place for everything, you know? It just keeps your mind organized while it keeps your space organized. So then up here I have one more bed set from Pottery Barn Teen, just so I can have variety. And then I have scarves and bags up there as well. So then up here, I have a mirror and I thought it was a really cool place to place it because it can reflect the light from my window. So this is also from Pottery Barn Teen and the dying vine used to not be dying. So, sorry about that. <laughs> and the last thing I have in my closet is this big suitcase which I just took on the trip because I only had a little suitcase before and I've been traveling more since I graduated and I needed something. So this is also on the website. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my room tour, which took way too long to make, but it is here now. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my socials down below, as well as all the links to the products. And I am doing a giveaway for a $250 gift card to Pottery Barn Teen, and all you have to do is comment down below what your favorite part of my room was. And then I'll be randomly selecting someone to win $250 and go shopping for your own room. So definitely leave your comment down below. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next one. Kisses!